This video is a bit of harmless fun in contrast to the muscle soreness science video I just made. Thank you so much for watching that. This is less that, more this. <laughs> Welcome to the Supplement Circus, or what I call bodybuilding.com. Protein bar recipe and morning routine of a fitness expert. Who's that then? Exposed, exposed, exposed. Dramatic is what that title is. A circus involves clowns entertaining people by doing silly things, or in the age of social media, the fitness industry influencer. Here is a hack at home working out. I think I read that right. I need to break through to you because I want to help you. So, if you want to maximize your gains all day long, reach for my gym BCAs exclusively at bodybuilding.com. That sounds legit. Let's browse your latest Insta nonsense post. Ooh. Those supplements seem necessary and worth spending money on. Jim has just dropped his latest BCAA supplements because he doesn't sell enough of them already. But this time, they come in peach and apple flavor. Or what I like to call, you're better off buying a peach and an apple. Your product is not available in India. That is what I call a success. And by the way, if you are new here and you don't understand how redundant BCAA supplements are, I have videos on that all over the place. The double bicep post raised some interesting ideas. Shouldn't the BCAAs be combined with the EAAs based on the latest research? Watch the live. No, Jim, don't watch the live. Just tell your audience that BCAAs are part of EAAs and therefore they're completely redundant as an isolated supplement. If you follow his diet plan of eating your body weight in grams of protein, you don't need these BCAAs. He's ripping you off. A simple search on any scientific platform will prove that. Also, his protein gram amounts for muscle growth are way too high. Bodybuilding.com introduced me to Joe Stetics. He's the one on the right, the bro rose. Mike Chang has entered the chat. And he seems to hang out with this guy who's a doctor, so that's all good. His top five Instagrammers to follow was solid. It started with the Are They Organic Twins and finished with Gymshark legend Steve Chris. <laughs> Is this reverse psychology? I've talked about the clearly organic twins before in this video and their terrible supplement information. Surely you're not gonna do that through promoting a compulsory post-workout anabolic window, are you? This is the most effective time to have whey protein. Brain gains, such as promoting a time-dependent post-workout anabolic window while selling their supplements. Instavirus lords, please tell me that these boys are now promoting branched-chain amino acids. <laughs> and also selling BCAAs and other nonsense. Check BCAA, which also contains glutamine and joint support at 1UP Nutrition. No. And Steve Chris is just a Gymshark trickster legend with his shaky plate press. He's that one on the thumbnail. And here are my top five Instagrammers to follow. But that wasn't what stayed in my head and why Joe Stetics is in this video. It was his chest workout on the bodybuilding.com page. Now, in essence, the video was fine in terms of the exercises and the way he's going through them. It was, however, his duet with the camera lady, which was suitably awkward and cringe. Hola amigos, what's poppin' is me joke. And there is no upper and low weights. And the women also can do that. You can go and Wait, get like boobs chopped then. <laughs> I think you get the idea. I'm be, taking the bar here now. Hey, hey, you need to be always heavy weight. Or you can. No, 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 no. You can. Mix it up, bro. I love how he refers to her as bra. Mix it up, bro. Because bro language in all situations. That's it for today's video, brother. I hope you enjoyed watching. And if you did so, then please like and subscribe. Oh, if you like. Bodybuilding.com editor looked at that and thought, Joe's nailed it in one take. Publish. Supplements I take to build muscle. Well, it ain't those ones, mate. Eight daily supplements there. There's actually a fruit and vegetable supplement now. Those over-the-counter supplements that he's promoting are like a drop in the ocean in context of the effect on his body of the under-the-counter supplements that he's taking. Basically, if you're juiced to the gills, your intra-workout supplement is clearly vital. Here's an example for you. Pounding vodka shots, then taking a sip of root beer and saying the root beer is what got me drunk. Weird example, I know, but what do you expect from this? Talking of the old devil's nectar, what is the one thing that your alcoholic beverage is missing? Because it's about lifestyle balance. The key is I want to go to the gym and I want to have a little bit of drink. I want to go to the gym and I want to drink. I want to go to the gym and I want to drink. And the way I want to drink it is with extend BCA because there's no added sugar. The predictable pre-workout, intra-workout and post-workout supplement overload that's thrown at people. And this guy seems really popular, I'm unsure why, but I haven't watched a range of his videos and I'm not going to. Instead, here's a picture of Thomas DeLauer drinking apple cider vinegar with a massive piece of Lego behind him. And by the way, if you want an evidence-based video on apple cider vinegar and fat loss, I have a video on that. Sergi Constance, another great workout pushing the body to the limits, sipping on neat sups, BCAAs and glutamine during my training session to help with muscle growth, repair and recovery. Glutamine does not have the bioavailability to be effective for recovery. I have a detailed scientific video including that. BCAAs, I refer back to this man. 
The irony of calling them need supplements is not lost on me. I know what you want. I know what you really need. I bet you do, mate. Is it the fat burners that you're selling? And to end, I made a video on Bruce Waning and his pre-workout supplement, and I was very fair on that. However, this was complete garbage. And this is what I call a teachable moment. And so this is his post on Kino Aminos from September, the year of apocalypse. Did you know that after killing it in the gym, your body is actually in a catabolic state where the muscle is breaking down? We need to flip the switch and get back to an anabolic state as soon as possible to recover and build a bigger and stronger muscle. I didn't know that because it's not true. Kino Aminos helps prevent muscle breakdown by by supplying your body the amino acids it needs to keep your body in an anabolic state primed for building muscle and losing fat. Firstly, he's indicating a time-dependent anabolic window there with the ASAP aspect. Furthermore, he says that keno aminos keep you anabolic for building muscle and losing fat. But losing fat is a catabolic process. So that don't make no sense, Greg. But also, the anabolic and catabolic application there is incorrect, and I have a video explaining this in depth. Protein synthesis and metabolism. So for effective muscle hypertrophy to take place, we need to create what is known as a net anabolic state. There's a massive miscommunication in YouTube fitness which needs to be corrected. You'll hear the terms stay anabolic, take this supplement and be anabolic at all times. And that is just simply incorrect. You are not catabolic post-workout and then for example you take a supplement and you flip a switch and you are anabolic. You have both catabolic and anabolic stimulus post-workout. Yes taking amino acids over a day is important for muscle growth and yes taking them post-workout is absolutely fine but not with this rationale. Catabolism follows anabolism. You're not catabolic or anabolic like these straight lines if you like. If you were to visualize it it is wave like. You are not anabolic at all times. You are not catabolic at all times. You you are a mixture of anabolic and catabolic throughout the day and both processes are important to be healthy. However, for muscle growth, you want more anabolism than catabolism over a day. And that's what's called a state of net anabolism. Your eating also creates catabolic processes in your body. So what you'll see here is that the same stimulus creates both anabolic and catabolic processes within the body. And that's why catabolism follows anabolism. That's why you have both throughout the day. But to create more anabolism, you just need to do the basics over the day. You need to challenge your muscle with resistance training and you need to intake the required energy balance for muscle growth. You need to intake the adequate amount of protein throughout a day and I have a detailed video on that. Breaking this down very simply for you to create a net anabolic state. Train hard, challenge your muscle and intake the adequate amount of protein and food. And if you do that consistently day by day, week by week, month by month, you are creating this net anabolic state and that will lead to muscle growth. So the correct communication would be post-workout, you have created both anabolic and catabolic stimulus. For muscle growth, you need more anabolism over a day, a state of net anabolism. And therefore, an essential amino acid supplement can contribute towards this. It is not compulsory. You can eat regular food and it is not time dependent post-workout. However, if you are fasted pre-workout, this need is increased, but you can take this supplement post-workout as part of your overall plan nutrition for that day to meet your protein intake requirements. Dear fitness industry, you can have that for free. I'm James Linker, Shredder Sports Science. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you soon. That's it for today's video, brother. I hope you enjoyed watching and if you did so, then please like and subscribe. Oh,